Well, boys and girls, uh, this is what I'm doing here. Uh, we take these irregular shaped blocks. They're, they're square on one axis, but not... I mean, it came out of a mold. You're relying on gravity. See, here's the no graphene. You can see it's clear. It's a little dusty or whatever. But with graphene, ta-da. You know, it's like a mirror finish, but then on the cutting edge. And we're taking a material, uh, taking these things and cutting them out to be like this. And then what we'll do is we'll cut that again, and then we'll cut the dog bone section out. Uh, you got to get down to about a quarter inch, <coughs> so it holds in the machine. And then they just pull it apart. And I'll do more on that in just a in a little bit. Super zoom in on there. That I didn't even mean to do that, but it happened. So that was kind of neat. But uh, here's some machine porn for you. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Now, I say I'm only taking small passes because you have to do uniform passes so that you don't induce uh, differential stresses. All the machinists out there, they know what I'm talking about because they're talking about passes of, you know, basically an eighth inch or you know and then doing a sixteenth and then trying to do an eighth again and, uh, and yet yeah, you know what I'm talking about so yeah machining graphene porn anyway trying to keep it in focus and not get you guys seasick again I haven't invested in the uh, rig to uh, hold everything but uh, we'll get it we'll get it don't worry Actually, this will be very close to the final pass. Ta-da! And yeah, that's a that's a holding block to hold it up. Ta-da! There you go. Uh, I'll I'll have some more of this on here. Maybe I might put a slow mo shot. <laughs> that would be gratuitous. <laughs> but it would be delicious. All right, see it.